This news here at six on a Thursday night. I'm Mark Zinni. We have got you covered with team coverage of the Huskies season opener from Rentschler Field as they take on NC State tonight. Channel 3's Mark Robbins and Caitlin Francis are standing by, but we do want to start with Joe Zone and Aaron Connolly live from East Hartford and a look at all the hype and all the buildup. It's going to be a great night, you guys. Hey, you're right, Mark. If you look over our shoulders, North Carolina State on the field without pads. UConn was out there a little while ago without pads, getting warmed up. The big window locker room. Next time we see them, they'll be padded up. The various teams will come out. Defense, offense, specialty teams. I'm watching the clock over my shoulder. It's at 90. Once that starts to count down, I get, I'm getting a little anxious. <laughs> I'm getting anxious, and I think the way head coach Jim Mora is dealing with his anxiety is he is running every single step of this stadium. He ran by Joe and I earlier, dripping in sweat, running up and down every step. Not sure if that's his normal pregame routine, but he is hoping that that helps them bring home the W tonight. Want to talk a little bit about the fans. That is so important and so critical, and they are energetic. The students are on their way here. The tailgaters are completely packed. So here's three things you're going to want to know if you are headed here to East Hartford and Rentschler Stadium. First, know that your bags are subject to search. Also, you don't want to bring anything that's too big, any large backpacks or anything like that. And alcohol is fine for the tailgating area. Once you enter the stadium, there is no alcohol. So our location, if you've been to Rentschler Field, you know the end of the field where the scoreboard is. The scoreboard is right here. So the fan, the fan fest goes all the way from one end to the other. We're on this side of it, and down on that end is Caitlin Francis. Caitlin, you got it. <laughs> Getting ready for fans to come on in here because Fan Fest officially open and Channel 3 is here. We've got all of our friends here. Say hi, guys. So make sure that you come stop by. We have a tent here inside. You can get your free koozie here. Channel 3 logo with your Huskies on the front. Who doesn't want that? So much fun already. Gates are opening as we speak. So people are coming through security. Uh, obviously, we're expecting record number of people. Lots of folks heading out here for kickoff, which is at 730. We've got team on the field warming up and food trucks out here. The Connecticut National Army Guard. Lots of tents. Student UConn football fan fest. Our friends here at Villa Lebanon. Oh my gosh. Hi. Hey. With all the jokes. See, I'm With all the jokes. Yeah. I love all you, all of you like my mother-in-law. That's not a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And of course, you can't come to a Yukon game without going to the dairy bar. So, I mean, there's so much fun stuff to happen here at FanFest. So while you're heading in, getting ready to head to your seats, get your food, come get your koozie, come say hi. Kara and I are going to be hanging out at the tent. So before you take your seats, make sure that you stop on by. We're going to be here through halftime. Joe and Aaron will send things back to you. The one thing about tailgating, it's great get here early, but for some reason, UConn fans seem to take their time getting into the stadium. <laughs> they want to have that end of the stadium filled, so when these kids come out, these football players, there's a big rousing cheer and a welcome for them. Tailgate and then get inside. Head coach Jim Moore said that to you in that interview we did in the UConn preview special talking about he cannot overstate the importance of the fans. He says they are out to earn the fans' respect and earn their trust, and tonight it begins. 